our previous episode, we finally entered the Mediterranean Sea and had a hell of a ride with speeds ranging between 10 and 12 knots before getting almost knocked down. We arrived Cartagena and enjoyed some peaceful days while making new friends. Puppy, special treats for you. In the, oh, you're dribbling all over the step. Yeah. As always. Mm -hmm. Only because she was making the face, I hate you guys, you guys having breakfast without me. Although she already had breakfast. There you go. Spoiled run. All finished. Can we go sail now? The time was right, we were ready for our next leg, so we set sail. And we just got told to move out of the way for this one. As we're coming out of the arbor, so we're now heading to the wall of the refinery, which is not our destination. Nope. Uh, so the Guardia Civil told us to get out of the way. Although we had clear, um, clear way, we would not cross our paths. But anyway, that is it. Clean cruiser, the big one. Look at that. We don't burn any fuel at all. She says as we're motoring out of the harbor. <laughs> Once we passed the big cruiser and left the arbor, we set our sails and started our upwind passage, avoiding a couple of other vessels returning to the arbor. Today was going to be a long one, full of tacks, as we beat our way upwind, but we were comfortable and dry while enjoying the ride. Doing great speeds, so soon enough we were in Santa Paula in the marina. Okay, so this is how sailors live. Everything starts with a very small task, which was securing the dinghy because we've been having problems. Uh, the dinghy keeps moving when we're sailing upwind, so um, we decided to pack it up and put it in one of the back lockers. Um, Easier said than done. So, snorkeling gear, spare fuel, uh, test frame, and John is dismantling the test frame that we've done. We've already moved the engine into this compartment over here. But obviously, even to open the compartment is a task. Boxes and boxes everywhere. So the engine is now test fitted in here. Good. And the dinghy is packed up over there with where we already uh, transported it a couple of times and it seemed to be fine. It needs uh, just to be strapped. And this is how we live. We were supposed to go hiking today. There you go. Half of the morning, gone. We didn't win hiking that day, but our walk on the beach later that afternoon left us with a big mystery in hand. Okay. You zoom in, because this is kind of like furry. Right, looks like a stone. And then, it's fluffy. And then you can break it and then inside in the middle oh this one doesn't have a sand no what is this it's a sea sponge i reckon it's a sea sponge 